pedagogic content knowledge. Pedagogic content knowledge is a concept developed by Lee Shulman in the late 1980s when his research helped us see that teachers had three kinds of knowledge and that one piece of that knowledge varied from subject area to subject area. The first type of knowledge and what most beginning teachers need and want is what he called general pedagogical knowledge. This requires every teacher to know legal responsibilities, how to manage a classroom, how to work with multi-level classes, how to work with special needs learners or differentiate, how to communicate with parents, and how to get a job and continue to develop their careers. So every teacher of any subject area has that same basic kind of knowledge. And of course, as I said, most teachers at the beginning of their careers are primarily concerned with learning in order to enter the profession. The second type of knowledge that every teacher um, needs is content knowledge. The content is the substance of what they will teach. But of course, if you're teaching mathematics, your content knowledge is different than if you're teaching a second language. Another way of describing the uh, content knowledge of a second language teacher would be being able to um, have confidence in the use of the language, both orally and in writing, needing to know the language, needing to understand the grammatical structure and knowledge of the language in order to be able to pass that on. And there are many different ways of passing it on, so this isn't about which approach you would use or wouldn't use. It's making sure that you have the knowledge so that when you choose an approach, and that could change over a teacher's career, you still have that knowledge base. Uh, having cultural knowledge and experience to be able to integrate into the teaching, knowing um, uh, the reasons for learning a second language, and having a passion for that language. And of course, the passion for any subject that you're teaching. Visual literacy is imperative so that you have a sense of uh, the use of the media, use of advertising, and how the uh, culture and the visual literacy um, intersect. Of course, print literacy and a knowledge of literature is also very important. And most language programs will prepare you in all of these areas so that you develop that content base. The third type of knowledge is pedagogic content knowledge. And this is the knowledge of how to facilitate the learning of the subject that you will be teaching in a variety of subject of classroom contexts. So pedagogic content knowledge comes at the intersection of um, content knowledge and general pedagogic knowledge. Another way of looking at pedagogic content knowledge, which I typically call PCK, is that it consists of a repertoire of approaches and activities that you need to teach second language students with differing linguistic competencies, meaning that you pull out um, different strategies for teaching if you're teaching a, a real beginner group of students or a more intermediate group of students. Similarly, if you're teaching a beginner group but they're five years old versus 12 years old versus 15 years old versus 30 years old, you might have to just alter some of those, uh, those strategies. It's a repertoire of analogies, illustrations, examples, explanations, and demonstrations that can be used in the language classroom. So it's uh, as an, a teacher gains experience in a second language, they learn that the easiest way for students to understand a concept is by doing this, whatever that this is. An example would be in French, you could memorize all the verbs that are conjugated with être, but when you think of Mr. and Mrs. Van der Tramp, or you think of the analogy of the house, it actually includes all of them, and it is easier for the students to learn and remember them. Knowledge of and ability to use the jurisdictional curriculum or program of studies and learning resources suitable for secondary or elementary school language students. This means that you do have a legal obligation to follow a curriculum. The truth is that if you were to do a cross-curricular comparison between provinces, states, countries, you would find that there is a basic common core because learning a second language is basically the same and requires the same 
kinds of things. Nevertheless, each individual is responsible for their local um, jurisdictional curricula. A basic understanding of practices of assessment and evaluation in language instruction. Again, the assessment and evaluation is tightly linked to that jurisdictional program of, st program of studies. So it's very important that the teacher interlink that and say, am I covering what I'm legally responsible for and how am I doing it? And the, the more recent work that's been done in assessment has helped teachers begin to focus more on those kinds of issues or questions. PCK also consists of an understanding of how to sequence the content learning into comprehensible steps within a lesson, which we often think of as scaffolding, and within a unit or a series of lessons. And there is also scaffolding within a unit. There's also scaffolding between units. So that pedagogic content knowledge says, I know that it's easier for the students to learn this concept and that becomes a foundational piece of learning another concept, even if that concept isn't going to come for three months. And so it's a kind of foreshadowing of a very important piece that's going to make the learning of something else easier in the future. An appreciation of issues that face professional second language teachers in their local or regional jurisdiction is also an imperative part of pedagogic content knowledge. Because when you're in a region where there's a lot of acceptance for learning a second language and the particular second language, then you can probably progress more quickly through various concepts. If you've got opposition or resistance for many socio-political reasons, then the teacher can anticipate that going at a certain pace might be um, a little different. So a pace that would have been anticipated may have to be slowed down with a lot more support for why we need to learn this. So that's pedagogic content knowledge.